Hi, I'm Ryan. If you've ever felt overwhelmed trying to store files online or share documents online, you're not alone. Today, we're going to walk through Google Drive, Google's free cloud storage service, and I'll show you exactly how to use it from the very beginning, step by step. So let's get started. Now to begin with, in order to access Google Drive, open up a browser and go to drive.google.com. Now it's tied to your Google account, so let's log in. Left click there, input your password, left click next. And now we have accessed our Google Drive. Good job. So think of Google Drive like a digital filing cabinet where you keep your documents, your photos, your spreadsheets, your PDFs, and more all in one place. Now there's three reasons why it's incredibly useful. For one, it's storage in the cloud which just means they're stored online. So you can access them on any device as long as you have the internet. The second reason, your files are secure. Google Drive uses strong encryption to protect your data, which means that only you can see it when you are logged in to your account. So it's actually much safer than storing everything on one device. And the third reason, it's easy to use. It's simple, it's intuitive, and if you already have a Gmail address, you can already access Google Drive because it's a part of your Google account. So now that we've gone over that, let's take a quick tour of what you're seeing on the screen. On the left side of the screen, you've got your main menu. My Drive is where all of your personal files live. Shared with me, shows files others have sent you. Recent is helpful if you've been working on something and you want to find it again fast. Trash is where all the deleted files go in case you ever need to recover them. And if you accidentally delete something, don't panic. Files stay in the trash for 30 days unless you permanently delete them. In the center of your screen, you'll see files and folders. And we don't see any yet because we haven't created any, but we will in a few moments. Above that, the top of the screen, is the search bar, where you can type to find anything by name or the type of file. But on the left-hand corner of the screen, this button here, the New button, this is where everything revolves around. If we left-click this, we can create new folders, we can upload files, we can create new files. Let's see how it works. Let's begin by creating a new folder. Let's left-click that. Let's name our folder. What if we name it storage? And then left click create. And just like that, we have a brand new folder called storage. Now let's say that we have a file on our computer that we want to upload to Google Drive and put into this folder called storage. Well, how do we do that? Because currently there's nothing in it. Well, the new button again left click that. Let's select file upload. Now there's a document that I have on my desktop called welcome to the trail that I would like to upload to Google Docs and then put into that folder. Well, This is how I would do it. I would find the file, left click it, left click open, and now that file will automatically start to upload. And when it's done, I'll see that green check mark right next to it. And here I see it. Welcome to the trail.txt. So it's uploaded to Google Drive, but it's not in this folder yet. So in order to do that, I hover my mouse over the file, left click and hold, and I can move it around the screen, and then hover over the folder, and then drop it. Now that file is in the folder. But the beautiful thing about Google Drive is that not only can you upload things, but you can also create files as well. Left click the new button, and down here we have a number of options. So let's say that we want to create a Google Doc straight from Google Drive. We can do that by left clicking this button here. And when you do, a new Google Doc will automatically open that will automatically be stored in your Google Drive. 
so that you can access it from any device. The same thing with Google Sheets. You can create a Google Sheet just from here, Google Slide, Google Form. They make it very easy to create documents and files as well. Now, after a while, after creating new folders, creating new documents, Drive can start to feel a little messy. So let's go over how to stay organized. So as we saw earlier, we can create new folders pretty easily. And we can create more of them to stay organized. So let's say, let's name this additional storage to keep it simple. So once we've created folders, it's important to remember to name your folders clearly. Something simple like that to where it really stands out. And if we need to, we can always move a folder into another folder if we really want to, to keep things even more organized. We can also right click and rename the folder if we want to. To really make it stand out, we can even go down to organize and color code the folder. Say we can make it a little orange. It's a great way to keep things tidy. So we've talked about creating files, creating folders, uploading things, but one of the great benefits of Google Drive is that it makes it really easy to share files with others. Now, sharing might sound a little intimidating, but once you've done it once, it's surprisingly easy. This is how you do it. So let's go into our storage folder. And here is our welcome to the trail document. In order to share that with somebody, we just need to right click it and then go down to share. And we have two options. We can click copy link. That will give us a link that we can just copy and then send to someone through email, even text it to them. But let's select this one, share. So from here, you can either type someone's email address to share this file with them directly. And over time, the more people that you add in that way will show up in this list below people with access so you'll know who can see this file. Or you can click copy link to get a shareable link. Say if you wanted to send it to multiple people and you didn't want to list them all one by one. Now when you do this, you can choose how much access that these individuals have when you give them a link like this. Now currently it's set to restricted, which means that only people with access can open with the link, which means that we have to add their email addresses one by one, but we can change that. If we left click restricted and go with anyone with the link, now we can choose how much access each of those individuals has who has the link. So if we left click here, a viewer can only see the file. A commenter can see the file and can leave notes off to the side of the file, but they can't make changes to the file. But an editor can make changes to the file. We can make our choice, Let's say choose commenter, and now every time that we copy this link and send it to someone, they will have the access to see the file and comment on it if they wish. This is perfect for sharing resumes, project files, photos with family, or collaborating on a group document. And the best part about all this is that whether it's your tablet, another computer, your phone, any device that's logged into your Google Drive we'll see all the same files and folders because everything is saved online. And any change that you make on one device will automatically show up on all of the other devices. So easy. Now before we close out our video, there's one very important point to remember. With a free Google account, you get 15 gigabytes of storage and that's shared across Google Drive, your Gmail and Google Photos. Storage fills up quicker than you might expect, especially with photos, email attachments, or shared videos. So keep an eye on it by checking the storage bar at the bottom left of your drive. So here I'm sitting at three bytes of 15 gigabyte used. 
I have plenty of space. And for most people, 15 gigabytes is plenty for everyday use. But if you find yourself running low on space, you can upgrade your plan by left clicking get more storage and Google will give you a few options that you can pay monthly and then increase your storage. And that's it. You did it. You now know how to begin using Google Drive to store, organize, share, and access your files from anywhere. If this was helpful, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share with someone who might need a little tech help too. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ryan, your tech guide, and I'll see you on the trail.